Good evening, everybody. My topic is a learning impacts on higher education institution during COVID-19 pandemic a bibliometric analysis. As we know from 2020, all the education institution, university, college, and school across all the world have canceled all events such as conference, lectures, uh, workshops, and exams, and to protect their students and their staff from the disease and infections uh, of that disease. Uh, the, the transition to distance learning adopted by the Minister of Education in all affected countries. All affected countries has been obeyed the, the rules that the uh, Ministry of Education has been coming with. The reason why to gap the challenges uh, that will disease coming with. Since then, the e-learning or our online learning, there's uh, different names, has become one of the hottest topics. E-learning is one of the most critical component in teaching and learning in higher education institution all the worldwide, and now become as part of our life. Our methodology in uh, this research, it's the bibliometric research. The bibliometric research is a science mapping technique that investigates the relationship among disciplines, fields, scholar, and individual papers. It's, con it's considered one of the powerful methods in reviewing the literature based on uh, theoretic database network accordingly based on the bibliometric approach. This study accomplish a complete publication related to a learning in higher education institute, uh, specifically during the COVID-19 pandemic. The bibliometric research have three stages. First stage is data collection. We try to collect uh, data by using keywords like uh, e-learning, higher education, and COVID-19. Uh, we use these keywords, place the all field. We know when we search in the any topics, we use all fields. And then uh, replacing the all fields, we use uh, this keywords, a learning, higher education, and COVID-19. We use only the web of science. Web of science is the most powerful, powerful uh, database in the world. It's my opinion. I don't know, but it's my opinion. It's... Uh, uh, more than enough. The second stage is screening. All art articles has been get it from the web of science. We focused on the journal and conference. Uh, we uh, we don't involve the review articles, books, books chapters, and all the, the, all these uh, things. We excluded. The reason behind this, we found like the journals and conference is more than enough. To ensure the integrity of the publication, we reviewed before conducting the bibliometric analysis. The second stage it was bibliometric analysis. As a result, we got 1,507 publications were screened in the next stage for analysis. The analysis of data have two steps. The first step is descriptive, uh, descriptive uh, status, uh, uh, statistical, was contacted based on the Web of Science database to extend the relevant descriptive analysis on the articles, publications, specifically on the number of relevant papers, the number of citation, number of H index. The second step, it was to analyze using voice viewer. Was viewer tools. It's uh, one of powerful tool to demonstrate the relationship between these keywords. We focused on uh, in co-occurrences keyword only. The analysis evaluate the connection that exists between the keywords through the keywords that frequently appear either in title, abstract, or keywords. The results and the views viewer showing here. We can see many bubbles, many connection between keywords, many 
relationship between the, the keywords. The buttons uh, reflect the keywords we used. The extensity bit between the keywords, it's or the thickness between the line of between keywords, it's uh, reflect the, uh, the 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 power of the relationship between these keywords. At the result, we found that COVID-19 is the most co-occurrences on all the keywords has been used. We, I want to mention again, we use only the keywords at least 15 times has been considered or mentioned. And the second keyword has been mentioned is e-learning, data uh, distance learning, mobile learning, education, student, and blend learning. This is the picture again. The bubble size show the, pre, uh, the pre, uh, frequency of the keyboard keywords while the intensity of occurrences between two keywords is showing by the thickness of the line connected. Discussion study, study on, uh, studies on a learning in the state of pandemic emergency have only been carefully studied since the worldwide outbreak in February of 2000, uh, 2020. A bibliometric analysis was conducted on a learning adaptation in the context of higher education that would provide detailed overview of its ad adaptation during the COVID pandemic, its dynamic literature review and intellectual structure. The present work determined that publication trend and the researcher interest in e-learning will be continued to rise while, even after COVID has been subsided. The observation offers a valuable understanding of insight on the current state of e-learning research and, speci and specify future directions such as uh, educational adaptation uh, post-COVID-19. Understanding the research stream of learning for past few years and the current con central publication in the area will be provide significant growth in e-learning for many years to come and the topic of e-learning will be very much relevant. That's in summary of my paper. Thank you for listening. Uh, F9, you stop it? <laughs> F10, F10. F10.